AFM, you're on mute. Ooh. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Branding Questions. Thank you so much, Alex. Um, hi, guys. Welcome to Branding Questions, I guess. That's it. Thank you. Good, good. I had so much to say during your guys' um, episode. I was like, let me hold it for this segment. So guys, today on uh, Burning Questions, um, we're just carrying on the conversation that you guys were actually having on um, education. So code card of the week is from at Nelson Mandela. Um, and it reads, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Very simple, straight to the point. And I think I I low-key agree with him. Don't know about you guys, but we have a lot to chat about. You know, people did not hesitate on Facebook to share their thoughts. So we're going to go to the first comment, um, which is very, very interesting. Hey? Like it's, 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 yeah, very passionate as well. You know, we like it when you guys engage with us. Please don't stop doing that. <laughs> Um, so this comment comes from Bonga, and Bonga says, clearly Mandela did not intend for young South Africans to change the, the world via education. I mean, what um, very colorful word, what BS is OBE, or whatever their ANC prefers to call the South, African, South Africa's education system. Mandela and his generation were given the best education this man is very learned. Oh my, very learned. This word is parochial, <laughs> colonial, and by their best educationalist, then they elected to, to close the door to that privilege. Uh, Bonga is saying quite a, a few stuff here, and um, he definitely disagrees with, with Nelson Mandela. That's, that's what I'm getting. Um, Sholen, I'll start with you. Uh, any thoughts on this comment? Yeah, there's a lot of thoughts on this comment because there's a lot going on in this comment. <laughs> but firstly, I do think that education is crucial. Um, but for Bonga to just be accusing, you know, and saying that Nelson Mandela and his generation got the best education, um, I, I'm not so sure about that. And then saying that, you know, it's all about colonialism and parochial, um, whatever the word is he's using there. <laughs> Um, I feel like that's 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 a very wrong statement to essentially um, to make because I feel like when Nelson Mandela was in he became president, a lot of more people actually became got access to education. A lot of yeah. black colored Indian students actually got access to better yeah. education. Um, and as we have progressed and the management of the country has changed from you know, Zuma to settle and reporter, things have um, gotten worse. And, we've, and we can essentially see that decline through the um, through our metric pass rates um, that have consistently declined. And so I so clearly we were at a standard and yeah. that standard has clearly dropped. So Definitely. we, yeah, so I don't think that Ponga should just dismiss um, Mr. Mandela's quote like that. Okay, but then when, um, as you're saying that the standard has dropped, so do you agree with him when he says that OBE is BS? I'm not going to say that on a you know family show, but yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what he means by OBE. Um, so I think OBE is not like a the education system, I think. Yeah, it's an education system. I think it yeah. went out in 2008, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, so I'm not really familiar with that, but I mean, the education is system is busy declining overall, I have to say. Yeah. So he is correct in saying that. Um, so yeah, that's that's just my two cents on on his opinion. On, on Bonga. Okay. Um, I think let's go to the second comment, um, which I will ask um, Alex to share his thoughts about um, this particular one. Um, so this one is from, yeah, that name, I think everyone at home can see it. Um, public schools, public school education turns people into colonial slaves. Not every change is good change. I'm very offended because I went to a public school. The fact that maybe it was a war school <laughs> instead of a high school, maybe that made it better. But Alex, your thoughts on this <laughs> is basically attacking public schools. Please save us. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it's someone who also into public public school. I'm uh, I'm I'm offended. No, it's, um, 
I guess it, it, th I think maybe something important to take into consideration here is if we kind of we we kind of need to think of ourselves as privileged in the sense that we mm. are part of the 50% who mm. started grade one and actually made it past grade 10. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? We are part yeah. of the, yeah. I think thereafter, something like 30 or 40 odd percent who then go on to actually matriculate. Um, so the public schools we went to certainly geared us for, for a working life, for, for yeah. the, the daily grind and, and gave us certainly prospects at, at a better future. Um, but for the majority of South Africans, I, I look, I wouldn't say colonial slaves. I think, I think it's kind of misdirected here, yeah. you know, um, but I think the, the, the comment that, uh, you know, people aren't, an important thing, a metric that is often measured by, instead of unemployment, is the labor market absorption rate. And that is basically just how many people can be taken into work. And it, uh, I think there's a good argument to be made that our schools just really aren't equipping people to be able yeah. to enter mm -hmm. the workforce. And yeah. notwithstanding all the things that we discussed earlier on in, in Freedom Fanatics. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is definitely true. Um, and I think the last comment, um, we can have a round table, but then I'm going to start with Diego and hear his thoughts. Yeah. Um, on this particular one. Um, so this comment comes from Belinda and it reads, but governments don't want the masses to be educated because they will know they are being used and being abused. Yes, governments need the people to be ignorant and poor in order to bend them to the government's will. Yo. Yeah. Uh, Diego, I have a lot to say, but you know, I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, what are your thoughts on this comment? Well, I think perhaps this is true in, in the South African context. Uh, the, mm. the quality of our education is, is, is not to the path. Uh, mm. And it, it is quite clear that part of why the, the, the government of the day is, is not improving the quality of our education is so they stay in, 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 in government, so people stay mm. uninformed, not understanding how things such as the economy function and therefore mm. carry on mm. voting for them. But of course, this, 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 this is a tactic that all communists have, have, have across, the, across the globe really have, have, have always used. They've always used education to keep people under, under the table, sure. So yeah, I do I agree. Think, yeah, yeah. So I think it, it all links into say education is definitely important. Um, Charlotte and Alex, maybe last thoughts on um, this comment here? Uh, yeah, Charlotte, I think yeah i definitely think that um keeping the population um uneducated definitely works for those in power because once people the population essentially starts being able to think critically you know yeah. then we will then people will really be able to realize where the problem lies who is yeah. the problem essentially and for the ANC government that will not be good because everyone will be able to see you know what this is where our problem is and this definitely. needs to be replaced. So, definitely. yeah, they definitely thrive off people being ignorant. Which is sad. Which is really yeah. sad. Alex, uh, your last thoughts? Yeah, my final thoughts. Um, I Two comments. The one is I don't think that, like I think I said recently on, on a different platform that in South Africa we need to be, be wary of, we kind of sit on a fence of incompetence versus malice. You know, is does the I don't think the government willfully wants to keep people uneducated i think it's actually just comes down to incompetence comes down to greed all but those I kind feel of things like they do i low key think <laughs> that's part of their plan but yeah carry on so I, I would also no, I would go also for it no but, no Valia, I, no go for it i i think i think let, let's chew on that for a bit i would no, also actually want that... to come back on alex yeah just to say sorry that they know exactly how to steal money but they don't know how to yeah. run the education system that's such to me bro but exactly money. you need to be educated <laughs> think, in order to know how to steal this money so obviously these people do know that you know what let's use education as a weapon yeah <laughs> well i think yes, i think i think we should remember we should i think we should remember that the government of the day subscribes to 
communism and, and, and socialism um, in, mm. in, in a way. And they, they have this policy stance of theirs that's called the National Democratic Revolution. So they are working towards uh, 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 ticking, ticking off the boxes on, on, on whatever goals they have on the NDR. And mm. part of getting there is, is, is feeding people a particular set of, of education, a particular education so mm. they they mm. they they end up subscribing to what you stand for as an organization as yeah. well so i think a better way of rephrasing it would be that they are deliberately teaching south african learners to become communists in a way we are more and more moving towards that you check in high schools mm. content that content that's provided in varsities content that's provided i mean even medical students are now forced to take some mm. social sciences courses such as sociology, which mm. really are, 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 are there to teach you to become, to think to think like a Marxist. And yeah, we are more and more moving towards that. And I think it's a deliberate move on the part of the government, sure. Yeah, Where definitely. Alex, I think you can finish your point. Sorry, we bombarded you like that. No, 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 no not at all. No, I think, I think those are also good points. I think maybe something, maybe, maybe we, next, next week can discuss it, but also something, important to watch out is uh the department of education looking at revising the history curriculum uh now mm. that's a, that's a very scary concept mm. um and i think something that, that we should look out for but um i think yeah it's kind of back to back to my initial point um is that you know it, it it's another state uh, state function that is failing yeah. um Definitely. and it, and it's desperately sad and I think one thing in terms of politically, it may not in the long run benefit the ANC uh, because people do vote according to their living standards. As people's standards have dropped since 2007, support for the ANC has declined. So maybe it's kind of it's a self it's kind of a cycle that might yeah. end up with the ANC's demise. But unfortunately, a lot of South Africans will fall by the wayside with very little prospects uh, with hope in you getting a real useful education. Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, we kind of survived, um, you know, that education system. So you'll be safe. All those who are still in school, good luck. All the best. Um, but guys, thank you so much uh, for joining me on this episode. Um, and you at home, catch this show every Tuesday on YouTube, Facebook, and IGTV. Remember, your freedom is worth fighting for.